Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you the WAN failover solution built into every SonicWall firewall. Now, for the demonstration, we're in our SonicWall firewall and we have four different WAN connections. We've got a 10, a 12, a 2, and a 1 megabit uh, WAN connections from different providers. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set up a uh, dual WAN failover so that in the event our main primary WAN connection goes offline, it'll fail over to our secondary WAN connection. So for demonstration, our X1, which is our first WAN interface, we're going to use that as our primary connection. Our X2 WAN interface, which is our 12 megabit DSL connection, we're going to use that as the secondary or failover connection. All right, so inside the sonic wall, we'll go to network, failover, and load balancing. First thing you want to do is make sure that uh, you have enable load balancing selected. And under groups, we're going to configure our default load balancing group. Now in here on the left-hand side, it'll list all of the available WAN connections that you have connected to the firewall. So for our demonstration, we've got the four WANs. We've got the first, second, third, and fourth. Now to do our load balancing, we're going to do it in between the first two WAN connections. So we're going to add X2 as our secondary WAN connection. And as an option, you can select this box to have the sonic wall automatically fail back to the primary WAN connection in case it goes offline. Next under probing, we want to make sure that the sonic wall probes the WAN interfaces to make sure that they're connected and that they're uh, able to access the internet. You can go ahead and use the default settings and we do encourage you to use the SonicWall probe responder host. It's always out there, always available to have the uh, SonicWalls ping it. If it can't reach that address then there's something wrong with that connection so you want that WAN connection to go ahead and fail. Alright, then we select OK. And that's all it takes to set up the WAN failover on a Sonic Wall firewall. If you've got any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below. Have a great day.